Hi everyone. It's me. So I got some exciting news. I joined Toastmaster about a month ago and today I did my first what's called an icebreaker speech and it's a, a five two minute speech where you tell the members a little bit about yourself so they get to know you. And there were five other Hi, Carol. There were five other. Uh, there was five speakers, including myself. And then at the end, you, the audience, gets to vote on who they think is the best speaker. And surprise, I got it. Best speaker. Although it's backward on the camera because I have it turned around. But I got the best speaker award from my first speech at Toastmasters. I'm really excited. Hi, Tim. Hi, Sue. Um, the problem was I tried to do a live feed of my speech, but uh, there was technical problems, so I couldn't do it. But it uh, is a very good speech because I wrote about myself, and so I thought, since I told uh, all of my members at Toastmaster and they know a little bit about my life, I thought it'd be nice for me to share that six-minute speech with you guys as my Facebook family so you get to know a little bit about me and see maybe why I won. So um, here's my speech. I'm the oldest of five girls and there are six years between me and my youngest sister. And at one time, my, all of my sisters and I went through puberty at the same time. And I'm convinced that this is why my father went bald. I'm going to be 50 years old in September, and I may not look like it, but I can guarantee you that I've had the life experience of someone that has been on this earth for almost 50 years. Some of those significant events have changed who I am, how I behave, and my life purpose. In 2009, I was faced with a life or death decision on an emotional and mental level. And it was a tough decision and I can only imagine that it was the same decision or experience and feeling that my father went through back on April 25th, 1975. You see, on that faithful day, my sisters, my family and I still lived in Saigon, Vietnam. We we're in the middle of the Vietnam War. There was chaos, commotion, and my father was ordered to stay and fight for our country. However, he was given the opportunity and the choice to allow my mother, my sisters and I to be flown out of the country for safety. So I remember that day, we were all piled on my parents, my dad's Jeep. We drove out to the tarmac and this was my first plane ride, so it's still exciting to me. I don't know about your first plane ride, but I was still excited. However, my first plane ride was probably very different in the sense that there were no seats because it was a cargo plane. We had hundreds of women and children on the floor, piled next to each other like sardines, and Four hours later, we arrived on the island of Guam, where there was an American military base. And it was dubbed Tent City because there were so many tents that was erected by the American GIs to temporarily house all of these women and children that were arriving. Those first few days was so much fun for us kids because it was like summer camp because all we did was play day and night. There was no agenda. There was no timetable. And we really enjoyed ourselves. But then on April 30th, 1975, the sound of what seemed like hundreds of women crying because they were being stabbed to death can be heard in the camp. In a way, it was death because over the loudspeaker, it was announced that Saigon, Vietnam had been overthrown by the communist regime. The war is now over. This meant that home for us was now death, destruction, and despair. 
And what was my first plane ride was really an evacuation. And what was summer camp for all of us kids is now a holding place for all of us. We didn't know we didn't know what our future held because we never planned after this. But we knew that we were free and we knew that we were alive and that meant that there was hope. So luckily, my father was able to escape. And a few days later, we were all reunited as a family and we were flown to the United States where we were able to start a new chapter a new experience, a new adventure. Have you ever been at the right place at the right time and then you wonder, is this a coincidence or is it divine intervention? Well, a year and a half ago, I sat next to a woman and she happened to be a publisher who was publishing a new series of books. I pitched to her my idea about family leadership and she thought it was fantastic and she said let's write that book and five months later my book was published and about January of last year she and I and everybody in the community got the book to the Amazon number one bestseller. The coincidence, the coincidence doesn't stop there because I started getting radio interview for my book. And it just so happens that one of those radio interviewers wasn't just the host of the show, he was also the owner of the radio station. Within days, I got an email from him asking if I would consider doing a family radio show on his network. Well, after I got out of my fear and my self-doubt, I got excited and said yes. And now, 22 shows later, I am now syndicated on two radio network. As for that 2009 life or death decision I had to make, I was in a marriage that was not healthy for my children, it was not healthy for me, and like my father in 1975, I chose to step out of my fear and chose to start a new chapter for myself, my family, and my children. I chose to start us on a new chapter, a new journey, and a new adventure. And in doing so, I found who I am and my life purpose. What I really learned is that there is a bigger, more powerful energy than love and fear. The strongest and most powerful energy is choice because we have to choose love. We have to choose fear. And I know when I chose to look at things with excitement instead of fear, I expanded my experience, my consciousness, and my evolution. Thank you. Well, that was my speech, and hi, Eric. <laughs> so I hope you were able to get to know a little bit more about my past, my history, why I do what I do, and um, why I won the best speaker today at my Toastmaster on my uh, icebreaker speech. So I hope to be able to bring you more speeches from my Toastmaster and thank you so much for your support and uh, have a great day.